So you're getting married in Georgia and you're not exactly sure how it goes and what to do. Well, consider me your guide. My name is Matt and I'm gonna to today help you understand exactly what the process is for getting married here in Georgia as a foreigner. So I'm sure if you're watching this already, I'm sure you know that to get married as a foreigner in most of the countries is quite difficult. You need uh, separate paperwork, you need to go and register months before, you need to be in the country months before, etc, etc. But here in Georgia, this is one of the only countries that you can just turn up as a foreigner with your passport and get married. So we're going to take you on that journey now. So this just behind me, this is where you will come to actually get the uh, certificate and do the actual formal process. Opposite, using this bridge here, opposite is where you're going to do your translation, which is what we're going to do now. So it's Monday today, we're going to do our translating of all the documents today, and then we're going to come back tomorrow to do the official paperwork over in the other building. So right now, we're going to focus on just getting our translated documents done. And all you need is literally your passport, and if you've ever been divorced, bring your divorce certificate too. Yeah. Getting your passport translated is really easy. Just bring it to any of the notary slash translation buildings which are conveniently located all around the public service hall. The cost for translating my passport was around 140 Georgian Larry or around $50. Then simply wait around 30 minutes for the processing time. The other thing that you're going to need to get are witnesses. You can buy witnesses from the same notary place that you got your translation or you can find some yourself. We decided to try and find our own. Oh, they say they said they can provide the witnesses for uh, they can, our can. can can our marriage for two hundred lari. Was that two hundred each? E each so two hundred so four hundred. Uh, and we need the uh, witnesses today because we don't need them there, but we need to know their names so they will prepare the documents for us. So where do we find them? Let's go, let's go find some witnesses. <laughs> At first we didn't have much luck looking for a witness. It was very different to what we were expecting. We thought there was going to be lots of couples around the door and entrance looking for other witnessing pairs. But it was more of a business with lots of people just selling themselves as witnesses. This woman would not leave us alone. But we did get lucky in the end. We found a really nice mixed Georgian and Russian couple who had been in our position last year and were really happy to help us. Okay, well that was a, uh, a little bit of look. They actually said, we want to help you. They were here last year doing exactly the same thing and they had the same problem. So they said, no, it doesn't matter if we have to come back tomorrow, they're going to help us. So it's really nice. He's Georgian, she's Russian, and they've given us all their contact number and photos of their passport and things. So now we can proceed. Let's go to the next stage. Step is to go and get a number from the front desk and go and see one of the many helpers here in the public service hall. Okay, we've come this far and I am not dressed in anything smart, and nor is Kiss really, uh, but we didn't realise we were going to be getting this far today. We were just going to get our translation, but it turns out you're much better to come and do your translation and your pre-registration all on the same day, otherwise you'll have to do three days. Your translation, your pre-registration, your signing, and then actually you're picking up as well, so it turned into four days. Now we're just doing hopefully in two. There's no specific area for weddings. We actually ended up in a zone where the couple next to us were filing for a divorce. Romantic. Everything was going really well until... Okay, well, we've been rejected because my translation was wrong. If you look at this, you can see that my date of birth is 10th to 10th, 87, and they put it as 10th... Uh, where is it? There you go. So they put it as 4th of something, 89, and that line above it also said... And the line above it also circled, says that I'm from Iran. And obviously I'm from England. And we went to the place that was regarded as being the best, but it's just really hard. We, we did skim read our, uh, our uh, translation, but you can't read it. It's particularly the one where it says where you're from. Uh, the dates, you don't know what it references. So anyway, over the, over the bridge we go, change that back, and then we have to go back, get in the same half an hour queue again. 
but it does close at six o'clock. We thought it was four o'clock and it has just ticked over four o'clock. So we have got a couple of hours, but it is certainly annoying. Oh. Need my Iranian husband. <laughs> Apparently this mistake is common. So we just nip back across the road and ask the people in the notary to change it for us. Then it was back across the road, back to the public service hall to fill in all of our forms. All we needed was the translation of our passports and our witnesses passports. You don't actually need your witnesses there until the day you're collecting. So for this first day, all you'll need is their passports. This process was super quick, only took about 20 minutes to go through all the paperwork and sign on the dotted line. Okay, there we go. So after a little bit of a palaver, we have done our sort of registration. We've filled everything in, we've signed, and then tomorrow we're gonna go and pick up our certificate with our witnesses and do all that shebang. You do have the option to, um, to do it as like a little ceremony if you want to. We chose not to do that because we've already had a ceremony uh, last, well, three, two days ago? Two, two or three days ago in uh, Nizhinovgorod in Russia. We did a big thing there, so we didn't really want to do anything else. But you do have that option if you would like to. Um, one thing, make sure you really thoroughly check your translation, because apparently, according to everybody, it is super common that they get things wrong because they just use templates. Yeah. So super, super important to just check that because uh, what I didn't put into the video is they actually got it wrong again. So we had to go back again. So yeah, just be prepared for that. But yeah, not a pretty smooth, pretty smooth once you're in there. Um, let's just wait for tomorrow to pick it up. What's up, everybody? Day two. Here we are again. So we're now going to be picking up, apparently, our ready wedding certificate, which we're really excited about. I'm a kissy. I'm so excited about. It. I'm just very worried that it's going to have no S in the end of the surname. Yeah. So we're a bit worried about the translation of my surname Roberts because uh, when they when we put it on Google Translate, it said Robert. And they would say, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, but it's gonna have we it. just know it's not going to have the S. Yeah. Um, so we need to meet our witnesses that we met yesterday, and then let's get this show on the road. Okay, so normally the process works that they send you an SMS text message to let you know when uh, your certificate is ready to be signed with your witnesses. But if you're not a Georgian citizen and you don't have a Georgian SIM card, you're likely to not receive that SMS. So they just say to come back the next day after 3 p.m., which is what we've done now, uh, to find out if it's ready. So ours is ready. So now we have to call our witnesses back and wait for them to get here before we can do the signing of the certificate and receive the certificate. So we're just waiting for that now. So unfortunately, as a tourist without a local SIM card, we had no way of receiving the text message to let us know when it was ready. So we had to just keep going back and forward and asking if it was ready yet. We had a couple of times where it wasn't ready and eventually it was. If you're coming here and you've got a bit of time, I would recommend getting a SIM card so that you can receive that text message. We didn't want to mess our witnesses around, so we didn't call them until we knew it was ready. So once we knew it was ready, we called our witnesses so that we could sign again and pick up our ready wedding certificate. Hooray, we got it! But we have no idea what's written in here, so it might be different man <laughs> I married today. But anyway, you happy? Yeah, very happy. Okay, so there we go. We've, yay. We've at least got our Georgian copy. Now, this is a Georgian copy of your wedding certificate, but that's not the end of the process we've just learned. Now, what we've got to do, because obviously I need an English version, and Kiss is going to need an English version as well as also, um, so you have to then get it apostled, which is like an official stamp to say that it's been done here, and then uh, translated. Now you can go other places and do that, you can go to your own concert, you can go to the translation centres around, but we've decided to do it here, because it's only a little bit more expensive, it's 270 local uh, Larry, but that's about 80 pounds for, express service, for the express so. service two days because we couldn't wait the eight days that it was it could have been which would have been a lot less so if we're just sort of 50 to 80 pounds you can get it officially uh apostled and translated here and in my opinion that's well worth doing rather than just waiting for them doing it somewhere else so i would say one of two Yay. see you tomorrow again <laughs> so after a couple of days wait we're back at the public service hall and we picked up our translated wedding certificate. And there you have it. That is how to get married here in Georgia as a foreigner. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If you do have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section and we'll try and help everyone out. But for now, guys, peace out.